and welcome back to my channel now it's been a while since I've done like a little like talking talking kind of video yeah I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of an update of where I've been at and what I've been doing because there's been lots of things that I've been really busy with that I can't necessarily talk about that much until they become public and it's also been taking up a lot of my time to be able to do the weekly YouTube video that I've been, well, I've been doing for I don't even know how long now. I think since the beginning of 2016 I've put at least one video a week out on YouTube and over the last few weeks I've kind of been slacking a little bit um, but I'm going to be getting back into the swing of things and I'm going to do like a little series of story times essentially because there's some things that I haven't necessarily talked about that much in detail with photos and little things like that. So I'm starting off with our LA trip. Uh, well, I've literally got back from last night and we were delayed and then the bags were late. And to be fair, I'm gonna say, Robbie slept amazingly on the plane. And when we got back to London, it was like 2.30 p.m. or something like that. He had slept for eight and a half, nine hours on the plane, which was a dream, but then, obviously landing at 2 p.m. and then he, he slept all that time. He did manage to go to sleep by about 8.30 p.m. but he was up this morning since I think it was like 1.45 so and did not want to go back to sleep so I've been up since 1.45 and it's now 10.30 and it literally feels like it's about 10 o'clock at night but regardless powering through. Now back to the LA trip. So LA was the main reason for me going over there was because Lance, my husband, premiered his TV show out there. So it's called Under the Banner of Heaven based on the true crime uh, book uh, by John Krakauer. Uh, and we had like a little premiere, well it wasn't little, it was a premiere in LA where it had most of the cast there. So the likes of, I think the, the three headlines that are on, the, the headline cast that are on the um, billboards and stuff are like Daisy Edgar Jones, Sam Worthington and Andrew Garfield so it's a I mean I have watched the series and absolutely love it and I think everybody else will it's a very very much a deep dive into essentially murders that took place in the 1980s based on uh, uh, and it was a Mormon family I'm not gonna give away too much because it, the, I think it's best to go into it not necessarily knowing too much but if you've read the book I highly recommend the series so yeah we did a premiere in LA then after that premiere in LA we went to I, had to, I went and did a little bit of the work that I can't be talking about right now. And then I came back in, on the 25th to Salt Lake City and I went to Utah for the very first time, which was exciting. I mean, I got to see the tabernacle, I think it's called, like the Mormon temple and the conference center. And yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. And we got to, uh, and screened Under the Banner of Heaven there as well. So there was another premiere, which you can probably see the photos flashing up now of when, you know, Lance was on the carpet and I basically became the press officer and was like taking photos, which was fun. I, was, I went into the press court and was just taking photos. I must have looked like a right idiot. It was, it was nice to go and see that, that and like kind of get like a true reaction from um, Mormons in, that are living in Utah. I mean, there were all kinds of different Mormons on the complete spectrum, which was really interesting as well uh, in that sense to see how they reacted because it's very um, empowering for women, this TV show. And it doesn't start off that way, but it just shows the level of discrimination between men and women in uh, in every religion, really. That it was so we did that, but then in between times, like I was there and I was doing bits and bobs to work that I've been doing. But and then also I did lots of different fun things with Robbie. Like we went to Santa Monica um, Pier. I went on some of the rides and went to the beach and had a great time there. We did we hiked Runyon, which was fun. And Robbie managed to hike all the way up Runyon up the hard side twice not on the same day but he did it on two separate occasions which is absolutely incredible and not only that is but Robbie learned to swim on that holiday like he can swim like anyway like with me there and kind of like arm bands like going to the side but he managed to swim a whole length of the pool on his own without stopping the whole way and I wish that I mean I can believe I could ask proud to punch me you can imagine my diver my kid can swim it was like, yeah, it was insane. So that made me extremely happy. Not only that, we like Lance and I went on a couple of dinners uh, with Robbie, which were amazing. Um, and we got to go out one time while we were in um, LA, which was, and that was fun. It was nice to, like, to get a babysitter and go out. It's like, it's been so long since we've been able to start doing that, you know, with COVID and with Lance's work and everything like that. So being able to get back on track with that has been extremely, 
nice to be able to feel a little bit more social again, which was really good. Oh, if people want to know where you can watch Under the Banner of Heaven, it's currently on Hulu if you're in the States, and it's not out in the UK yet, I don't believe, but it's going to be on Disney Plus. I'm just not exactly sure when that's gonna be. But yeah, go and show it some love, give it a watch, and I hope you like it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so exhausted and so tired, and I'm just ready for it to be night time so I can go to bed again. Yeah, it was a really nice trip, and I'm actually going back out to LA 4th of June through to the 16th or something like that for, oh no, we have it. I'll go back out there for a holiday. Uh, but then I'm also gonna be in New York on the 15th to the 19th, or the 15th to the 18th of May for my, uh, my book is coming out in the US. So that's all very exciting. And if you are in the US, I believe that I should have a pre-order link in the description, but you should be able to pre-order from most places in the US. Um, and it comes out on May 17th, which is exciting. So yeah, I think that's the pretty much the update of what's happened while I've been in LA and things like that. And I'm gonna be doing a story time. I'm literally gonna film it now of our wedding day, how Lance and I met the day Robbie was born. Stay tuned for those and yeah, make sure you subscribe to be able to make sure you're gonna see those videos next week and the week after and the week after that. And there might be a few other videos thrown in, in just for good measure. So yeah, hope you enjoy.